Hello everybody, my name is Holly and I'm a service learner with Monterey County Free Libraries. I'm joining you today on Book Chat Teens to discuss this book, Other Words for Home from Jasmine Warga. This book is fairly recently um, published. It was published in 2019 and it has a lot of great topics and a lot of diversity in it, which was super exciting for me to read about. Um, it also received a Newbery Honor, Honor Award, um, which is pretty, pretty prestigious award uh, for the topics in this book. So I would say that this is a realistic fiction book. The author herself actually um, is a first generation American. Her father is from Jordan. And the main character in this book, Jude, is a, a refugee from Syria. And at the time, and even today, Syria is going through war and um, social unrest and political unrest. So she has to leave behind her beloved country and come live with her um, uncle and his American wife in a place that she had never, she didn't know the language. She didn't um, know really anything about America except for movies. And that really is the one connection that she has uh, to America. And I'll, I'll go ahead and start by reading the back of the book for you so you get an idea of what it's all about. So Jude never thought she'd be leaving her beloved older brother and father behind all the way across the ocean in Syria. But when things in her hometown start becoming volatile, Jude and her mother are sent to live in Cincinnati with relatives. At first, everything in America seems too fast and too loud. The American movies that Jude had always loved hadn't quite prepared her for starting school in the U.S. And her new label of Middle Eastern, an identity she's never known before. But this life also brings unexpected surprises. There are new friends, a whole new family, and a school musical that Jude might just try out for. Maybe America, too, is a place where Jude can be seen as she really is. This lyrical, life-affirming story is about losing and finding home, and most important, finding yourself. So I love the story of Jude, um, and actually the way that this book is written, it's in poetic form. So it's, it's kind of an unusual um, style of books, but... It's really uh, an easy read. It's not a difficult one to follow. And we get a lot of uh, the the narrator is Jude, the main character, and she gives us a really good insight of how she feels and just a lot of wisdom from a middle schooler who is just trying to, to kind of find her place in her new home. So some of the topics that are um, discussed in this book, are definitely uh, refugees or displaced persons. There's language development topics, um, fitting in at school. She also experiences racism. Uh, we, we get to experience her explore her religion and the idea of acceptance towards that religion um, and other types of acceptance as well. We get to see the impacts of war on a society and on families and yeah. It's a, it's a great one, especially from the perspective of a young girl who is, is still learning so much about herself in addition to the world around her. And yeah, so she, her, um, one aspect of her living in America is living with her cousin and her, uh, her uncle and her aunt. And she has to really like almost teach them while she is learning herself. And so it's really uh, an interesting one with character development in the novel. Some really great quotes that I'd love to share with you guys. And so here, she said, hoping I'm starting to think might be the bravest thing a person can do. And that says a lot about people who are in war-torn societies and how this, the power of hope, right? Another quote is, um, lucky, I am learning how to say it over and over again in English. I am learning how it tastes sweet with promise and bitter with responsibility. So lucky. And then the other one is about um, women and maybe the misunderstanding of women, of, of Muslim women 
and her and working with her aunt, kind of teaching her about the Muslim faith. So um, she said, I want. So I want women like Aunt Michelle to understand that it is not only women who look like them are free, who think and care about other women. I thought that was pretty powerful um, and a great message for acceptance and understanding of religion and diversity of people and just celebrating diversity. So this book is really a great way to kind of just get a different perspective on topics that we hear about a lot but maybe we don't get like a first-hand account of those topics or a first-person narrative of those topics. I definitely recommend this book and you can find it in your library catalog. So go and check it out today. Have a good night, you guys.